you guys what came in the pack before I get started on the wig and set up for real. So of course came the wig and it had came in this bag but I had took it out. But yeah, it came with a hair bag, wig cap, and like I said, the wig and I, oh yeah, and then it also came with a band. And this is a 13 by 4, 30 inch, 108% density body weight wig in like a reddish brownish color. Just let you guys see it. Has a little fishy smell to it, but I mean, it's the Elliot's first wig. But this is the color. I think it's gonna be cute. Let's see. I'm gonna redo my bow kill, y'all, so don't talk about me. Let me see. Ooh. Close my eyes. Let's see. Okay, so can't see shit. So the hairline ain't really cute. It's almost really a perfect fit. I oh snap. Like, I'm probably not going to be able to cut anything. Literally, all I'm going to be cutting is the excess. But I am going to bleach the knots just because I've seen people on um, YouTube say they bleach their knots. And also, I'm going for a side part. So I just wanted to kind of like let you guys see it straight out the box. I don't know if it's really... Well, okay, it's giving 30. It's giving... It's giving barely 30. I've been forgetting how close I am to my days. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see the wig. I like the color. I think it's very cute. So yeah, I'm gonna put the details on the screen and stuff because I don't have my phone. So yeah. But when I come back, I'll be ready to apply the wig. Ball cap be down. We're gonna get straight into it, guys. Okay? And the lighting will be better too. <laughs> What's up, you guys? So I'm back with a better ball cap, but not the best. But yeah, y'all, so this is the wig plucked and styled and all that good stuff so i'm just going in and applying some makeup to the lace so that it can match what i have on my bow cap and y'all i'm wearing the hd wig caps that i sell on my website but learn from my mistakes y'all the hd wig cap is thin out the pack like you don't have to stretch it because when you stretch it and then you go to cut it and stuff it's gonna run it's like stockings what you're stretching it out for so yeah that's my tip for that but now i'm just trying the wig on after putting the makeup on see what it's looking like and like i said it's it literally fits like perfect so i can't cut anything extra around my ears i'm literally having to make sure that i'm cutting like right right up right up under where the hair stops say because this wig fits like almost perfect literally getting somebody had called me so i had to figure out what was that but yeah so like i said i'm just fitting it and sizing it up and cutting off the excess tabs And then now I'm doing this technique that I seen on YouTube. I think her name's Felicia Doucet or something like that. I can't really remember. But she says that she marks out basically where the wig is sitting at on her client's head so that she know where she's putting the glue at so that everything will line up how it's supposed to look. So I tried it and I do like that method. I should start doing it more often. I'm just lazy and don't be wanting to clean off the light makeup anymore but now i'm taking me a popsicle stick and my lace glue this is the even um lace glue the black one i still like the other one better the yellow one but the black one is doing its job as long as you do like how i'm doing here like make it thick and thin so basically you want it thick and whipped but you want it to be thin layer so that it'll dry clear and all that good stuff people recommend to let the glue be completely dry when you lay it down i don't only because this glue once it gets dry and it's like clear too long it's not tacky no more so like the wig don't really stick that good and i've noticed even if i stick it down while it's white as long as you let it dry the glue gonna turn clear like the girl i said felicia she put the glue actually on top of her lace so that it can really like melt melt and i i did it in this video and 
it really works so i don't get why people be like make sure that it's clear it don't matter it's gonna dry clear regardless but then here's something else that i got from her video she was like when you're cutting the lace that you should lay the um what's it, the razor lay the razor against where you put the glue at under the wig and then just lift the lace that's not sticking down like onto it so that it can cut it in a zigzag like that um i really think that it's preference honestly it does the same thing i just feel like if you do it that way you have more of a of a risk of cutting the lace too much especially if it's not glued down 100 percent where you you know you needed it to be at then you just cut all the lace off because yeah anyway so it's just preference to me it works the same it's just whatever you want to do so now i'm just taking the end of a spoolie to like press it down just so that i don't risk my fingers turning anything white you know touching things before they dry so i was using the back of something to stick it down and once i get everything cut like i said i was gonna go through and put the glue on top of the lace they give that extra milk and like i said i recommend it so yeah i'm gonna let y'all keep watching me do that and then once i put the glue down i'm gonna pull the baby hair down and let that sit in But first, I'm going to take the black even spray to spray around the hairline. And I'm also going to take some of my makeup that I used to put onto the lace to put on top of it. Y'all, do not skip that step. That makeup on top of the lace with some melting spray is just, it's going to eat every time. So yeah, I couldn't forget to tell y'all to make sure that y'all do those two steps. And then I'm going to take my melt band from Sin City Beauty. It has ear protectors on it. I love this band. I can wear it for an extended period of time without my ears screaming. So right here you guys can see I have flipped it because that side was a little gunked up. And I didn't feel like actually cleaning the band. So I just went ahead and made sure that the cuffs are on my ears to protect them. And then I went on with a second band to really get that melt in there. It's not necessary but I just did it this time. And so while that's sitting... I'm going to go through and kind of like recurl my hair. Because one thing I noticed with this this wig in particular, it was not holding the curl for nothing. Like, I cut all the layers in the world with it. I recurled and recurled. I just, the curls just would not hold for nothing. I don't know what I'll do next time. But, yeah, so if you guys are looking to get this wig to kind of wear it with some voluminous curls, I might not recommend it. Because it really wasn't her holding a curl for me for real. But I didn't mind because it was kind of giving that like sexy blown out. You know, had some rollers in your hair or something. Like it was just giving a vibe. Plus how I cut the layers because I made a mistake and cut them too short trying to get these curls to hold. It started to kind of give the look of like curtain bangs and stuff like that. So I wasn't mad at it. But I still wish that it kind of would have held a curl a little bit better. And so now I'm just taking the hot comb and trying to freshen the look flatten it out just you know make it like a fresh install you feel me like you went and got went to the salon and got it done oh and y'all went and bought these little flat irons to see if they could help me to really like get my lace flat yeah they not they do the same thing as the other the other hot cone you just gotta know what you're doing but i mean you can never have too many, you know, hot tools. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going through and recurling. I basically recurl the bottom and hope that I can mix the middle in with the bottom and then recurl the front and give the illusion of a fresh <laughs> barrel curl set without actually doing my whole head. And like I said, it really didn't matter what I did. The curls will not hold for nothing, but it still came out cute. Mm -hmm. 